Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at a book from the Law Society. This is a new book, just came out at the end of the year, that's the end of 2009, beginning of 2010. Ancillary Relief, Practice and Precedence, Legal Handbooks, uh, written by Andrew Newbury, Shona Alexander and Anne Corrigan. There's a very useful CD at the back because it's got precedence and I like the fact that we get a CD with these books now. It's very, very much in keeping with what we should really have. The book is very much a standard Law Society work with reference numbering at the sides there, not, not, not there. There's a good index right at the back as well and there are a number of appendices about three quarters of the way through which will assist in this next subject. Now, my wife Elizabeth and I have written a review of this book, which is on Flickr and all the internet sites, and we've given it the title, A Clear and Concise Guide to a Vexed and Complex Subject of Ancillary Relief. Well, we all basically know what ancillary relief is, but what's this book about and why do we need it? Well, divorce, judicial separation, nullity proceedings, these are all sad outcomes of marriage breakdown. And every case, of course, is different. Um, very rarely straightforward, certainly I've found that they're all very complex, a lot of, lot of emotion. In any cases of cases, therefore, uh, sorry, in any number of cases, therefore, the divorce or dissolution is actually less complex than the multifarious issues relating to ancillary relief, as we all know. So family lawyers uh, and advocates will therefore welcome this book, in our opinion, as one of the um, latest leading publications from the Law Society uh, in their Legal Handbook series. Uh, it's written by three experienced practitioners and it provides a, a very straightforward guide to what the law is with a clear, concise, step-by-step -step approach on uh, the conduct of a case from the crucial first meeting to final resolution. And remember, of course, they spread over, or uh, can do, over a long period of time. Obsensibly uh, minor but important details like meeting rooms and so forth are discussed and of course negotiating tactics are very much a part of what one does either as a solicitor or as a barrister. It's an authoritative legal text and I think it will be helpful to counsel as well as to uh, solicitors uh, because it provides an instructive comment on what to do. It's truly an advice book very much what I like to see from the Law Society because I find their publications as a barrister extremely helpful myself um, because obviously they're written by people who know what they're talking about. Uh, there are examples of references to an explanation of collaborative law citing for instance as a relatively new concept from new states a sort of hybrid between mediation and traditional negotiation through solicitors so we're looking very much at a modern approach to how we deal with ancillary relief, not necessarily having to always go to court. Solicitors, of course, are uh, within the process and are described as adopting this hybrid role between mediating and representing their clients. And we're tempted to add that if things get really contentious, then you, you'll need a referral to people like myself, I suspect. Although there's no reason why, if we get the ground rules set out and, and the tactics sorted out, Anybody with the requisite experience should, with this book, know what to do. There are obviously a whole range of, of um, things covered in the book. Uh, certainly right at the beginning, it gives a whole list of the things, that the, the, a little tick box list, if you like, of, of uh, what can be summarised. And besides the table of cases and everything else, there are 24 appendices sort of towards the back of the book, which uh, help with checklists, standard letters and so forth. So recent developments in the law are really rather well covered, especially certainly in case law concerning prenups, postnup contracts and so forth. So in short, we say the book is um, something that every family lawyer should be have readily at hand. The CD, I think, is especially welcome for its clear, concise um, help with the handbook on the vexed and complex areas of ancillary relief and I think it's a welcome addition to our Law Society Library whether it's in chambers or in your local form, uh, firm. So thank you very much to the three authors and to the Law Society. Bye bye.